Look at this. Clean, modern, high definition footage. Perfectly exposed. Perfectly sharp. It screams, I have my life together. But that's not what we want. We are tired, sad adults who miss the uh, early 2000s where the footage looked like this. So instead of uh, facing our responsibilities, let's do that. Let's make new footage look like camcorders from the early 2000s. Okay, so before we can actually go ahead and do this, we need to figure out all the different elements we need to emulate. There are broken artifacts because there's a lot of compression happening. There's bloom happening also by the highlights. Because of the limited tech back then, the highlights were super blown out most of the time and the shadows were crushed. Either that or it was very washed out. The white balance will more often than not be kind of messed up. 4 by 3 aspect ratio and the resolution was 480p most likely. So that's the general genetic type quality of the camcorders back in the day. When anything is going through a surface like plastic or maybe reflected off glass. So for example, if you are filming with a camcorder through a window, you're more likely will get these, these cool long streaks coming from highlight reflections or light reflections. The two shots that I'm going to be editing don't have that situation where I'm filming through something or filming a reflection. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a timeline that matches the resolution or the quality of the early 2000s camcorders. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new timeline. I'm going to call this tutorial. I'm going to check off use project settings. I'm going to go to format. And I'm going to change from HD to custom. I'm going to go 640 by 480. Change my frame rate to my country's 25 frames and create. And immediately we can see we're getting already, already that 4 by 3 aspect ratio that I mentioned before. Okay, so I'm just going to choose the footage that I want to use, which is this one. It is this one. And it is and this one. Yeah, it's this one. First thing we want to do is, as you can see, it's not sized appropriately. So I'm just going to zoom in here. There we go. And now we can finally go to the color page. Okay, so the first node we want to create is the correction node. And here we are going to blow out the highlights. We're going to crush the shadows, which is, like I said, are elements of camcorder footage. And I'm also going to mess with the white balance. So first I'm going to call this correction and I'm going to go to the log wheel of the primaries and I'm going to crush the shadows. I'm going to go to the highlights and I'm going to zoom in here to this one for my benchmark or there you go. I'm just going to blow it out just a bit. Okay, before I edit the white balance, I'm going to create a new node and I'm going to call this set because I'm going to add color so I can clearly see the effect of the white balance because I shot this footage in log, so it's quite flat. So I'm going to go down to saturation and I'm going to change it to 80, maybe even 90 because I actually really want it to be like that poppy type camcorder footage. And you can kind of see I kind of messed up the white balance already or maybe this is just the quality of the light from the shot behind me. I'm going to go back to correction and I'm going to add some green. There's either shifts of magenta or green in the messed up white balance of camcorder footage. And I think I'm going to go with the green just to... There you go. Not too much, you don't want to overdo it. Okay, the next node is where the actual magic happens. I'm going to call this DMG for damage. I'm going to go here to the effects library. I'm going to search JPEG and watch how the footage changes. Look at that. This is basically the artifacting that I talked about because of the compression of old uh, camcorder footage. So you just basically need to mess with this section. Uh, this is where you're going to get all the different quirks of the artifacting. Uh, it's up to you really how far you want to mess with the footage. I'm going to use this as a benchmark area. And I'm just going to raise the quality. Okay, 
in that works. Resolution is the size of the blocks, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna make it all the way to one because I don't wanna go too crazy with the artifacting. And then when it comes to blocked aspect ratio, it just basically changes the aspect ratio of the blocks. I'm gonna just show you here. I don't know if YouTube is allowing you to see this. Let me, okay, frequency scale is basically like a sharpness of each block or the edges. So I'm gonna do this so I can show you clearly what the aspect ratio is doing. You can see it makes it thin or it makes it long. I'm just gonna undo that. There we go. As you can see, especially in the dark areas, you can see all the artifacting happening. That is basically what we want. It's perfect. And also you can see here, it's almost like the anti-aliasing. I don't know exactly what it's called. But you can see by the edges, it's broken up. And that's exactly the effect we want to go for. Okay, in the next node, I want to create the bloom effect which is a big part in contributing to the um, nostalgic or kind of a theory of feel of the camcorder for this. I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna search glow. And the main slider I'm gonna focus on is spread because if you look at the examples of the, of the camcorder footage, a lot of the bloom is basically a thin or not super thin, but like a ring or halo around the light. So it's not like very spread like, let me, let me make it quite bright so you can see what I mean. Instead of spreading the glow, you want to bring it close. And that's basically what Bloom is. So I'm going to make it a bit less intense. And remember, it's fine if it blows out because that's another thing. Uh, blown out highlights are part of the effect. Now I zoom out, you can see we have some light haloing or like a ring of Bloom around the lights. That's basically what we want. Not, not too much. Sometimes it's a lot, but most of the time it's, it's kind of like this. Okay, now what I want to do is even though the effect of that nice long streaks, which is, a, which is basically a defect of the camcorder footage, uh, when you're filming through, like see through plastic or glass, or you're, or you're filming a reflection of light, as you can see here, I just want to show you how to replicate that long streak effect. So I'm going to make a new node. I'm going to call it, yep, streaks. I'm gonna add another glow. And with this one, I'm not gonna focus on spread. I'm gonna first focus on H slash V ratio. I have no idea what this is. I just found out the, how, the, how useful this is through experimentation. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down. And as you can see, immediately, we have the exact streaks that uh, show up in the camcorder footage. If you wanna make it like that bluish, purplish shade that, uh, that it normally shows up as, you can go to color filter and you can just mess with the color here, but I'm gonna keep it white for now. If you want to mess with how long uh, the streaks are, you can use spread. If you want to mess with more settings, you can make it brighter here with gain. Gamma, I think, changes how much or how much of the bright areas are affected. I'm kind of liking this. Like, I might even leave the streaks even though it's not really uh, correct. And when it comes to the shadows, I think I'm going to go back to correction. I'm going to go to curves, go to the third last uh, loom versus set. It targets the saturation of dark and light areas. So for example, if I click on the black square, I can change the saturation, we zoom in here, of the dark areas. You can see if I bring it up, saturated. If I bring it down, desaturated. I'm gonna saturate it a bit because that's another issue I've noticed with camcorder footage. And I might just fiddle with the damage node a bit more. Maybe lower the quality a bit. And maybe the resolution 1.2. Okay, I'm gonna try this with another shot because this is looking good now. I'm gonna grab still so I can copy the, the grade and I'm going to go to this next shot. I'm just gonna go back to the timeline, bring it next to this one and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm actually going to control or command if you're on Mac, C, Alt or Option if you're on Mac, B. And I'm just going to click on the color correction so I can just copy it. And immediately look at the shot. It looks almost exactly like it was shot on the camcorder. Also the zoom motion that I do with my lens, I try to make it quite a steady zoom uh, motion to mimic the mechanical zoom of camcorders. But I just want to show you. 
I'm gonna go back to the color and I'm just going to go to gallery. You can see all my experiments of the looks. I'm gonna right click and apply the grade. And immediately you can see we do not need the streaks here. We don't even need the blue with this one because as you can see, we're shooting towards the sun. I might even make, we'll go back to the damage node in this particular situation. And I might just make the resolution back to one and make the quality a bit more. Like all you need here is some zoom sound effects, some mechanical camcorder zoom sound effects, and maybe uh, add some sound, actual diegetic sound of the leaves and stuff and make and compress it. And then you would definitely have a realistic camcorder of emulation. I'm gonna go back to correction and I'm gonna mess with the white balance, make it a bit more warmer. Like some old camcorder footage as well. Very nice. And these five nodes are basically the buildup that you could use. And then all you need to do is per, um, per situation or per like lighting situation, every shot is different, but you could use these five nodes and just fiddle with each one to get the effect that you want. Like I can, I'm gonna pull up a random shot here that I have. There's the typical um, camcorder street shot with the lights. I'm just gonna add that into here. I'm gonna copy again. Command C, Alt V, or Option V. I'm gonna zoom in here. Actually, I'm gonna copy this one because it's brighter. There we go. And then all I had to do, because I want to make these streaks a bit more prominent, I'm gonna spread this. I'm gonna up the gain. Maybe up the camera. maybe even go to damage and mess with the quality even more actually that's a bit too crazy actually let me mess with the resolution rather there we go and yeah that's basically how i broke down my modern footage and i emulated the look from an old 2000s camcorder so i hope you learned something from this video and yeah thank you for watching